So now I want to go over an example of adding two fractions that do not have common denominators. And remember what I wrote for you in green. Whenever you're adding and subtracting fractions, you must have common denominators. That means that the bottom number and the fractions have to be the same. So here in this example, we have a denominator of 6 in one fraction, and we have a denominator of 3 in another fraction. So obviously they're not the same, so we do not have common denominators. So what we need to do is we need to find the least common multiple between 6 and 3. And what that means is we need to find the smallest number that we can multiply by 6 or 3 that gives us the same denominator. Now notice if we multiply the 3 times the 2, both our denominators would be the same. We would have a common denominator of 6. So 6 is going to be our least common multiple. And whatever you do to the bottom of a fraction, you have to do to the top of a fraction. So since we multiply the bottom of this fraction by 2, we got to multiply the top of this fraction by 2 as well. So now we can rewrite both these fractions. Our 1 6 stays the same. And then in our numerator of our second fraction, we have 2 times 2, which gives us a 4. And in our denominator, we have a 3 times a 2, which gives us a 6. So now that we have common denominators of 6, we can add these fractions quite easily. Our denominator stays the same, so we have a 6 in our denominator. And then our numerator, we add the two numbers, so we add 1 plus 4. And that gives us a final answer of 5 over 6. So now I want to go over one more adding and subtracting fractions example that do not have common denominators. So here we have 1 half minus 1 third. Notice in the first fraction we have a denominator of 2, and in the second fraction we have a denominator of 3. And in order to subtract these fractions together, we need to have a common denominator. The bottom number needs to be the same. So our common denominator is going to be the least common multiple between 2 and 3. Now notice there is no whole number that we can multiply by 2 to give us 3, because 1 times 2 is 2, and 2 times 2 is 4. So there's nothing that we can multiply by these denominators to give us a common denominator of 2 and 3. So whenever this happens, what I like to do is I like to multiply by the other number. So since this fraction has a denominator of 2, but doesn't have a 3, I'm going to multiply this by a 3. And whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. And since this fraction has a denominator of 3, but does not have a 2, I'm going to multiply this fraction by 2. And whatever you do to the bottom of a fraction, you have to do to the top of a fraction. Now notice in the first fraction, we're going to have a denominator of 3 times 2, which is 6. And in our second fraction, we also have a denominator of 3 times 2, which is 6. So now we're going to have a common denominator of 6. So let's just rewrite these fractions. Our first fraction, in our numerator, we have 3 times 1, which is just 3. And in our denominator, we have 3 times 2, which is 6. Minus our second fraction, in our numerator, we have 1 times 2, which is just 2. And in our denominator, we have 3 times 2, which is 6. So now that we have a common denominator of 6, the bottom numbers are both the same. We can subtract these fractions quite easily. Our denominator always stays the same, so we have a denominator of 6. And in our numerator, we're just going to subtract the 3 and the 2. 3 minus 2 is 1 over 6. And this is our final answer. So here are some more videos with some more example problems related to the video you just watched. I really hope you're finding my tutorials helpful. So until my next video, I will see you later.